there's one thing that yeah, I'd kind of like to touch on because we spent a lot of time, as I would imagine, mm -hmm. a good deal of time was spent at TAM 6, um, not necessarily by the speakers, but certainly by a lot of the people who went, since I know some of them, uh, bashing religion. And mm -hmm. there's something, um, you know, mm -hmm. a couple of the emails that came in this week would start with something, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not an atheist, but. Or I am an atheist, or, but. All right. I'm not a Christian, but, and then okay. go on. Um, and in one case it was, I'm not a Christian, but I disagree with you on this point, and here's my argument. Well, I don't care about the first part at all. Sure. Unless, unless your views of Christianity are relevant to the topic at hand, it doesn't matter. And starting off by saying, you are an atheist, but you disagree with me on a certain point, uh, that carries no weight either. And mm -hmm. so, I'm, I'm a huge advocate of critical thinking and skepticism, but... We are bad at it, all of us. Um, I'm no exception. Martin's no exception. Neither are any of the speakers at TAM. We're all prone to making big mistakes. And there's one mistake that I'd like to kind of caution some people on. There are many of us who have come to the realization that the religious claims simply don't hold up. The evidence to support those claims does not exist, is, is often contradictory of things that we already know and understand about reality, is contradictory of itself in many occasions. Um, and so our critical thinking and skepticism have led us to a, I'll go ahead and say conclusion, but uh, I'll stress that any positions that we hold should always be tentative based on yeah, the yeah. possibility of new evidence or contradicting evidence. The thing that I want to caution people against is once you have established, uh, even tentatively, that religious claims are bunk, um, you need to be careful that you don't just start uncritically accepting arguments against particular religions um, because they're consistent with what you already believe. And we touched on this about That's a million true. times in that you know, one prime example is um, Zeitgeist and a number of these other little films and pieces of films that build up a story about um, how you know, you know Jesus was just this uh, latest astrological incarnation <laughs> mythical story. Yeah. It, is, it is true that Jesus may not have actually existed. We have no evidence either way. Um, but it seems that once you get to the point where your, your critical thinking has led you to reject a particular claim, doctrine, system, belief, whatever, um, you, you may become more prone to simply saying, oh, well, that makes so much sense. I already know it's. I already know it's not true. I'm already convinced of that. So this other claim that says it's not true, that says it's actually this, um, yeah, that that makes sense to me, and I don't have to think too much about it. Right, and I think that's probably where a lot of the critics of you know the new atheism get this notion of uh, atheist fundamentalists and yeah. you know, dogmatic atheists. And it is it, you, you do need to approach each individual. Uh, claim simply based on the merits of that claim. Yeah, we got a, yeah. there's just uh, a commentary uh, recently. There's a little comment thread on the AE blog just this week where you know this whole question of Jesus as a real person came up, and I stated very you know plainly you know look I'm perfectly willing to entertain the notion that the character of Jesus as portrayed in the Gospels was could very well have been based on an actual human. I don't find that completely outside the realm of plausibility. Do we have any direct? Um, you know, extra biblical, you know, easy to confirm historical evidence of who that person was. Uh, was his name really Jesus or Yeshua or whatever? We don't really have that. But I'm entirely willing to, you know, accept the idea. Sure, a real person probably could have inspired this character. May have even done a few of the things that the uh, that Jesus is uh, said to do in the Gospels. I don't think the walking on the water and the loaves and fishes stuff, coming back from the dead, probably not. But this whole, you know, but, but I do encounter a whole lot of atheists who are just sort of like, Jesus never existed, and I'm like. Well, again, we can't know either way. I'm, I'm fine with people who come to that conclusion for certain reasons. Well, if they can argue for it. In <clears throat> my cautionary, or my, my, my warning is don't ever drop your ability to look at a situation critically, to be skeptical, to examine it, just because it happens to already agree with something, one of your preconceived yes. notions. Because when you do that, uh, and, and I... This is going to sound uh, conceited, and I think it's, it's fair that I be uh, conceited and arrogant towards the atheist community on occasion, as I'm accused of doing it towards the religious community as well. 
When you do that, you make the rest of us look bad because you run around on the internet saying, oh, here's my video, and look, Jesus was just, you know, raw, part two, or, or whatever kind of crap you want to throw out there, and you destroy the work that other people are actually doing. You destroy the ability, because that, those types of things get this kind of pop culture popularity, mm -hmm. uh, get passed around, viral videos, and all of a sudden, real thinking believers mm -hmm. think that this is the best argument. Think that this is this is this is why people are atheists because they've bought into this. So then some Christian comes along and debunks uh, the points made in there, and now all of a sudden you've left somebody uh, more confused because you've overstated the case. Uh, you, you you've made a claim that you can't back up, and that it turns out is is not an accurate representation of what's going on. Yeah. Now, all right, that's enough. Bitch. Yeah, no, I think I th you make a fair point. I think that a lot of the reason why it's it's, it's only a very recent phenomenon yeah. that you've seen atheists get together in like little groups like ours, and you've seen conventions like TAM and what have you. It, it has been difficult to corral atheists into that sort of thing, uh, largely because I think many of us want to avoid even the appearance of any kind of group think. Yeah. Uh, and I think a lot of that is because you know it's very easy even if you're someone who considers yourself a rationalist, to think about it. Get in a big room full of a, a whole bunch of people who think Christianity is full of crap, and you can just sort of feed off of that, and, yeah. and it does become... Me. Now, to be fair, I, don't, I didn't obviously hang out with every little clique at TAM, but, you know, I, so the folks I hung out with, it wasn't really all about, boy, aren't Christians stupid, ha, 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 aren't we smart, ha, ha, ha. You no, know, I would never imagine that. But, you know, it's... Uh, you know, well, you're... But, uh, yeah, I, I know that there are probably, you know, there, there is that little coterie of atheists out there who, who do do that kind of thing. And um, you're right, it's always better to just sort of have, be level-headed and even-keeled about the whole thing. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I'm guilty as well. It's, mm -hmm. one, you know, it's like one of those things where, you know, I immediately caught or relatively quickly caught that I was being kind of sexist yeah. and a presumption. I've overstated cases before, you know, and yeah. that's one of the reasons why it bugs me is because um, I, I can't stand... Yeah. to be so wrong, so unjustified in a position. It's one of the reasons um, why I keep doing this, because I believe something without justification for bad reasons, based on logical fallacies and emotional appeals mm -hmm. for so long that I have almost no tolerance for that. But I'm still happy to talk to people and try and have a conversation, because I recognize um, we all see things slightly differently. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has taken the same steps towards, you know, let's let's do everything we can yeah. to get to the truth um, without poisoning the well, I guess. But. Well said.